now we finally have some news. Now we have Webb's first image of three iota atlas. In this video, let's look at the details. So on August 6, 2025, the James Webb Space Telescope locked onto an interstellar object unlike anything seen before. 3i Atlas captured using its near-infrared spectrograph NESPEC Webb delivered. Not a blur, but a high-rays image revealing a sharply defined nucleus enveloped in a coma rich with gas and dust, but it was the chemistry that stunned astronomers. The coma wasn't dominated by water as typical for comets. It was overwhelmingly carbon dioxide. Webb measured a CO2-2H2O ratio of nearly 8.1, among the highest ever recorded. This alone reclassified 3i Atlas as chemically exotic. Traces of carbon monoxide, co and carbonyl sulfide, ox were also found, but water vapor was suppressed, possibly buried beneath dust or shielded within its structure, the directional activity. Of the emissions made things even stranger. Gas was escaping predominantly toward the sun, hinting at focused outgassing rather than random sublimation. All this at a distance of 3.3 astronomical units, still cold by solar standards, showed that 3IE Atlas was active well before typical sublimation thresholds. Thanks to its infrared sensitivity, Webb could distinguish individual emissions, mapping the spatial concentration of CO2, H2O, and dust, what once would have appeared. As a hazy speck now revealed textured contours, directional plumes, and fine scale structure that helped scientists decode both the surface composition and thermal dynamics of the object, this wasn't just a better view, this was a paradigm shift. Webb had turned a transient interstellar comet into a chemical and structural profile permanently archived at the highest clarity ever achieved for an object not from our solar system, and that clarity began raising new, deeper questions. Webb's instruments uncovered more than just interesting properties. It provided an unparalleled. Look at the structure of 3i Atlas's coma, the cloud of gas and dust surrounding its solid nucleus. By analyzing the detailed shapes and subtle variations in brightness across the coma, scientists were able to infer the physical processes occurring just outside the nucleus. They noticed that the distribution of material wasn't uniform. There were patches where carbon dioxide emissions were brighter, indicating fresh outgassing, and areas where water was comparatively fainter, suggesting that it might be buried beneath the surface or released at a slower rate. Additionally, they observed that the coma had a well-defined boundary around the nucleus, which implies a process like sublimation driven by solar radiation. One particularly intriguing aspect was the lack of a coma tail. Typically, comets develop long tails due to solar radiation pushing gases and dust away from the nucleus, yet 3i. Atlas's coma appeared somewhat isolated, preserving a clean boundary between itself and the incoming solar wind. This could imply a protective mechanism shielding the nucleus, or it could suggest that the coma is relatively young, having formed recently as 3i Atlas approached the sun. Intriguingly, the coma's shape also offered clues about the structure of the nucleus itself, Webb's observations showed that the material released from the nucleus was shooting outward along certain directions, forming small cones or jets. These directional bursts indicated that the inner structure of the comet might be fractured or layered, allowing gas to escape along specific paths. In fact, the alignment of these jets suggested that 3i Atlas was tumbling in space, perhaps due to impacts or close encounters in the past, each rotation exposing fresh layers of ice and dust until the internal structure was completely emptied. The analysis of the coma structure thus painted a picture of a dynamic and possibly fractured nucleus, challenging the notion of 3i Atlas as a simple frozen mass. It suggested that beneath the surface, there could be complex internal processes at play. Another fascinating revelation from Webby's observation was the analysis of the spectra obtained from various parts of the coma. Spectra are essentially barcodes of light where specific wavelengths are absorbed or emitted, leaving telltale dark or bright lines at particular positions. By examining these spectral lines, scientists can identify the chemical elements and compounds present in the coma. For instance, the team discovered that carbon dioxide was abundant, which explained the coma's relative brightness. However, they also found signs of other compounds like carbon monoxide and carbonyl sulfide, offering hints about the comet's complex chemical makeup. Moreover, when scientists analyzed the slight shifts in these spectral lines, they found that the gases were escaping primarily in the direction of the sun. This unidirectional movement indicated that the outgassing might be more focused and active than previously thought. 
It suggested that 3i Atlas could be releasing gases from specific vents or fissures on its surface rather than randomly emitting them from all over. This directional behavior pointed to a potential internal structure or a controlled mechanism regulating the release of volatile substances. The coma spectra therefore unveiled a more chemically rich and actively outgassing nucleus than previously anticipated. Webby's instruments were also crucial in measuring the exact location and velocity of the gases escaping from the nucleus. By tracking the movement of these gases, the team could calculate the mass and momentum of the outgassing material, shedding light on the forces driving the comet's activity. Furthermore, the precise measurements enabled scientists to test various models of cometary outgassing and estimate the physical properties of the nucleus, such as its porosity and density. Remarkably, Webb's infrared capabilities allowed it to see through the dust, revealing details obscured from view by traditional optical telescopes. It peered into wavelengths where the coma glowed with heat and molecular vibrations, creating a vivid portrait of 3i Atlas in its active state but Webb's capabilities extended beyond capturing the visual appearance of the comet. Its instruments allowed for the identification of specific molecules and compounds based on their unique infrared signatures. For example, Webb could differentiate between carbon dioxide and water vapor by their distinct vibrational patterns, providing insights into the comet's chemical composition. Moreover, Webby's ability to measure. Minute variations in brightness across the coma allowed it to map the spatial distribution of different materials. This created a chemical map of the coma, showing variations in abundance and composition that revealed internal structures or non-uniform surfaces within the comet. With such precision, Webb provided an unprecedented look at the chemical processes occurring in real time on the surface of an interstellar comet, all of these revelations wouldn't have been possible without the extraordinary capabilities of the James Webb Space Telescope. Webby's advanced detectors and instruments were crucial in capturing the faint signals from 3i Atlas considering its immense distance from Earth. The telescope's infrared sensitivity allowed it to see through the dust obscuring the comet and provided insights into the chemical makeup of the coma. Its high-rays imaging capability enabled the detailed study of the comet's nucleus and its outgassing activity, and the precision of Webb's measurements, especially of spectral lines, allowed for the analysis of gases escaping from the comet. Webb's instruments provided the necessary sensitivity, resolution, and wavelength coverage to unravel the mysteries of 3i Atlas's coma. In conclusion, the analysis of the structure and spectra of 3i Atlas's coma by Webby's instruments has provided an unprecedented glimpse into the inner workings of an interstellar comet. The discovery of a highly eccentric orbit combined with detailed observations of the coma's shape, activity, and chemical composition has redefined. Our understanding of cometary behavior, 3 iota Atlas is no longer just a distant visitor. It's a subject of intense study and intrigue, prompting further investigation and observation to uncover more secrets about its origins and composition. The journey of discovery has just begun. Webb's observations of 3i Atlas have raised more questions than they've answered, which is the sign of a truly successful scientific mission. We now know that this comet is chemically unusual and structurally complex, displaying features not seen in comets from our solar system. It is an interstellar. Envoy from a distant world that has traveled across the cosmos to teach us about the diversity of objects in the universe. As we continue to analyze Webb's data, we can expect to learn even more about 3i Atlas's journey, its composition, and its activity. Maybe this comet holds the key to understanding worlds beyond our own.